Wow, is all I got to say. Opportunities everywhere, money being made everywhere. Hopefully, you are able to secure some of them gains out there. If not, I will start out. Let's get this out of the way. You should be over at the Stockmo Patreon. We are loving what we're seeing. I don't know about all the other Discords and YouTubers out there, but TMF is printing, TLT's printing, IEF, T-Bill, all of them printing. That's what it was about. I've been telling you about this for a long time. And for those who followed along with me, put it down in the chat if you're a part of the Discord, you've been part of the TMF family. It's a good day. Hit that first link. Come on over. Let's show some of the winners. Get this out there. We got a lot to talk about. Why is this stock market crashing? Where is it going? Will we get the bounce? And I think I'm going to surprise you here because a lot of negativity out there, but maybe a little too much. Hint, hint. All right, anyway, some big gains there, 80-something percent, 500 bucks up. So if you haven't joined the Discord, I'm going to tell you this. The first link down below, a little over a buck a day gets you in here. I want you to look, and now these are a $1.86 contract. Cost you 186 bucks, $300 up, $700 up, $600 up. A little over a dollar a day, we, we share the information. You get access to the bots. You get the private live streams. You get the, you want st the Stockmo indicators? They are there. You want the alert bots? They are there. You want the expert panels? They're in here, all right? We got it all, and on top of that, we got the option sweeps. We got the, the bullseye alerts. We got the AI, the dark pool. We got it all for a little over a buck a day. And more importantly, and for those who want to learn, we got the learning library. That is huge. So if you haven't joined, come on over. Check it out right here. The library's in here. It is all there. So family, join today. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening out there. This market, whoa, across the board. Doesn't look like Christmas today. VIX is up, red across. And of course, Ethereum got smoked. Uh, we know a lot of things got smoked. But you know what didn't get smoked? There it is. The little green right in the middle. TMF. I told you, TMF, TMF. Said we were going to hit $60 a share. We did hit $60 a share. Had people out there making those little troll videos, riding my coattails, talking negative on the Stock Mo channel and the Stock Mo Discord. But here we are, the ones collecting money now. Yeah, it was funny because we had TMF, uh, I'd say just a little, about a couple weeks ago, right here. And it dropped. Oh, they all started making videos. Oh, it's down 8%. He thought TMF was going to do this and that. The markets are going to rally. They're going to run. 26% later, family. 26% later. We're back over 60 a share. My average price is in the 40s, so I'm killing it. And everybody following me has followed the strategies killing it. And I don't hear them. I, they'll, they'll have to go back. They'll find some stock that didn't work and do some kind of video on. But you know what? Here's the truth. We're doing well. And we're making cash. And that's what it's all about. Dropped a bunch of new blue collar options today and some white collar option plays in there over at the Discord. So if you want to be a part of that, you may. Uh, as I was showing you some of my stuff in there, well, you already seen it. It's all good. You, you can come on over and join us. Now, the big players, NVIDIA, down, huge, under 100 a share, which, you know, we don't know how this is going to go. The volatility has been insane, as you can see. Look at the last month on this. 20% down. Full correction. Uh, I think that was a top. Let's see. Right here it is. 26.58% down now. I believe... Somebody said, do you think it's going to bounce? I got to tell you, I do. It's not like their orders are drying up. Uh, if things get horrible, though, that's something we do have to concern ourselves with, with an overall global recession. Something we're going to watch out for. Oh, my goodness gracious. Looks like two, I, uh, I think, don't quote me on this, but I believe we're, I'm going to be on CNBC Power Lunch tomorrow. That's the 2 o'clock program like I have been in the past. I'm looking forward to discussing some of these. So for those who have not done it, that's what I'm looking to do Tuesday. So make sure you watch on there. I'll give everybody an update in the morning. But I'm pretty pumped to be on there and discuss some of the plays we've been doing. We've been absolutely on fire, bar none. And for those who don't know who I am, Stockmo, old financial advisor, and of course, high school and college level educator. Now doing this YouTube thing, getting to be on TV. It's like a dream come true. I love it. All right. Now hit the hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. More importantly, though, join that Discord. Now, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. For those that don't know, Dow Falls a thousand points is recession fears. It's a combination of a bunch of things out there. And who was the only person who called for a 50 basis point cut 
three months ago, six months ago, January, I said by the end of 2024, you are going to get a surprise 50 basis point cut and TMF is going to spike on that fear. Everybody, oh, they attacked me like there was no tomorrow. And now look where we're at. Oh, the 50 basis point cut. I don't know. Well, I'll say it again. We'll do the whole thing. Once you click that, make sure you take the 15% right here. I will say it again for those who did not know how to join. First link, click this to say 15% on an annual. If you want the monthly, you can do that, but I would do that. Uh, I'd take advantage of the, of the annual. Now, what I was saying right here, check this out. This is the, the Fed rate. Let's go ahead and see where we are. I don't even know if I updated this today. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All right, so 84.5% chance of a 50 basis point cut. You know, before this month, it was zero. It was zero. We, were, we weren't having a chance. And now all of a sudden we do, and everybody's like, I told you. No one did. No one did. Oh, show me the video where they said we're going to have a 50 basis point cut this year back in January and February. All right. With that being said, we placed ourselves right with the overall portfolios. Massive amount of money into treasuries. Massive amount. The majority of the money. Yeah, and a lot of people say, oh, you know, and, and yes, we made money on the stocks on the way up. I quickly rotated out as we got way overbought on the technicals, moved them into treasuries. Now loving it. If you're not loving it, like I said, join the community. We share the information, and it's been really good. By the end of this year, they're calling for, look at this, five cuts now, 60% uh, chance of five or more cuts. There's a 12% chance we'll have six. We'll have 150 basis points. Now, here's the deal. Let me talk you through. You guys know I do financial history. When the Fed has to cut, they, you know, and here's the thing. You think a 25 basis point cut's going to change things? It's not. If they lose control of the employment numbers, they're going to be forced to do some massive cuts. Joe, our old Jay Powell and crew are going to have to step up and make massive moves quickly to counter anything that could happen with employment. If, it, if they lose employment, the whole game's over. They won't have to worry about inflation because no one can buy anything. The whole supply-demand dynamic goes south. They can't handle that. And so if that's the, you know, slow and steady with inflation. But if they lose control of employment, no one buys anything. Demand goes away and prices plummet. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's great. It's not great because more people get laid off because profits, profits go away. Things get ugly out there. And so, yeah, I'm watching all this. We're going to see what's going on. But there is more to the story than just that. Did you see what, what, what's happening out there? What's all this, all these trades that people were making? And people were nervous. Japan's market absolutely getting pummeled over a two-day period. 12.4%. Uh, worst day for the index since Black Monday of 1987. Holy cow. That is a, a, a bad day, all right? Now, what happened over there? There's a whole change. They, they actually started tightening up and raising their rates. Well, there's a whole, you know, the whole geopolitical, the, the, the economic situation around the world. Japan has ultra, ultra low, ultra low rates for, for, for people. And so you could go over there and what people do is they do all this, they get all this money in Japan. And basically... You know, they hardly any any interest at all. And they take it over to a place like the U.S. and they invest it. And they get tons of, of returns. They get a lot of interest off of it. And then they have to, you know, turn the yen into dollars, do the investments, turn dollars back into yen. So that's all fine and dandy, right? Well, what happens when the yen starts to get strong and the United States market starts to tumble? What happens then? And well, that's where they get some trouble. And that's exactly what happens. And so as the yen strengthens, what it used to be, uh, so much US dollars, so much yen, it's, it's changing everything. And the dollar is weakening. And so to pay off those loans, they need more dollars. And the investments are dropping. And so the people who make the loans to these people say, oh, we're calling you, we're calling you. Uh, let's go ahead and pay this off. 
and everybody's mass selling. A lot of people, when they were making money, are now not making money. Oh, it, it, it's something. And I think this unwinds quickly, though. And that, that's the thing I don't think people realize, that the unwinding will happen very quickly. And, and so I'm trying to play some of these bounces. I can go over more of that, but I just wanted to make sure you understood here. So the end of the dollar over the last month is now 12% stronger, which, which means what? It means you're going to need a lot more dollar bills to pay off what you're borrowing in yen when you're doing these carry trades. And of course, they're, they're fine. They're great trades as long as everything stays stable. This is not staying stable. When you have this the yen spiking up in power, the NASDAQ in the last month collapsing is the exact thing you do not want to see if you're doing that strategy. So that's one, another thing that kind of led into that. Uh, a, a lot to watch there. So I did want to bring that up to everyone. Let you know that things are happening out there and we are making moves. And more importantly, like I said, TMF, uh, how's that going? I know there's some trolls out there eating that dry cat food under the bridge. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. 21.77. I, I didn't lose no sleep. And how about little brother TLT doing its thing over the last month? 7% up. Get that nice, I think it's 4% 4, 4 interest I think it's paying. And I think TMF, for those that don't know, remember, what is it, 2 to 3% interest we get off TMF as well. So you're not just getting the gain, you're getting the annual interest as well. And yes, of course, this is pricing in all of the costs as well. So it's a good, good run so far over the last month. I did sell, I will say this, I sold one of my options today. I closed out my call option on TMF up over 300 percent that was one of the blue collar options out there i did in the stock mo discord and like i said if you're not in there you're missing out all right that you know a lot of things going on i see a lot of big money to be made here in the near future if you haven't done it join with the first link come on over click up here if you want to save 15 percent and make a one-time payment a little over a buck a day and you get all of the things the technical tools the bots all of it in there more importantly you get to see the portfolios you get the private live streams you get the blue collar options man so come on over and check that out uh second link down below is moo moo get those free stocks look at this you want to have some risk free hundred dollar deposit gets you eight free stocks a thousand gets you all 20 but look at this 8.1 no matter even no matter what you put in the uninvested cash for three months 8.1 apy risk free take advantage of that family all right, that's it. That's the update. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you over at the Discord.